Hey, welcome back. This is MDog, and we are on Russia. Oh, we have a quest for Bream. How much time? 359. We should take that. And Silver Bream to go towards Club Supply. We always take that, right? All right. We're on Russia. My favorite little spot on Russia. And somebody had recommend, I think it was Twiza. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong. Somebody had recommended trying this spot with just cheese and pearl barley. So we've got the first and third rod set up on cheese. And we're like between 20, 22 clips, something like that. And then the middle rod is with pearl barley. They've all got um, size one hooks. All right, we need two bream. So if we don't occasionally get a bream, I think we will on pearl barley though. If we don't, we'll switch one to peas and get a couple bream. Um, but I thought I haven't spent a lot of time fishing at Russia. In fact, we still have some work to do on our on our um, on our deal here. But what I'd like to do after nighttime is over when it's actually morning. I think I'm going to do that this episode. Anyway, I'd like to go back and. Um, uh, we need to change the camera. I've got it on RF4 settings. Here we go. I'd like to go back and finish off the bronze medal on... Oh, what's it called? The carp pond we did last episode. We just have one more fish there to get at the uh, Czech pond. All we need is that silver carp. So I thought we could give that a, good, give that a go. But it's nighttime, overnight. We're not going to be able to catch that there. And... Hopefully the bream and silver bream and stuff will be active here. We could do our daily quest in Russia. I thought, ah, let's do this. We want to bounce around and have plenty of experiences at all the different places. Now, notice that I am not using any ground bait. Just kind of casting and stuff out there, which is kind of a bummer because I love experimenting with ground bait. But I wanted to see kind of how it works, how well it goes, you know, without ground bait. All right, that's not a bream or a... All right, Pearl Barley got a golden crucian first. Again, we'll kind of see how it goes for a couple minutes. And then if we need to, we'll switch. Uh, look at this cheese, though. Both rods going off with cheese. Uh, we should look at the club experience, see how the doghouse is doing in terms of levels. Also, so I want to see how many spots we have open. I think I've got two or three people lined up. Something like that. But we still may have a couple spots. I just need to figure out when I can be available next time to um, do another recruitment. A recruitment time. We'll look and see how our club members did on getting us club XP today. Who's been active today? Another silver bream. Yeah, they're just coming out, aren't they? This is great. We're going to have that supply quest finished in no time. All right, this could be a bream. This could be our first bream. We just need two bream to get that XP quest. Is it a bream? Oh, man, it's a big crucian. It's a big crucian. All right, let's just put peas on for a second here and finish this bream quest off. And then we'll switch this back to pearl barley. Hopefully the peas won't take too long to catch bream. It's a little bitty silver bream, I guess. Oh! Wait, there was another spot. At Russia, hold everything. Hold on, I gotta figure out where that was. That was on Discord, right? Shoot. I might have to move to go try it. Do we try to catch the bream here first, though? I think somebody sent me a spot where they had caught a... Um, oh, a little eyed. Where they had caught a trophy silver bream. All right, let me throw these back in and just look real quick. 
Sorry, I, I hate that it does that. I need to figure out how to get it to stay up when I'm off. Um, okay, let me see. I can't remember if it was in the private message or... Okay, here we go. Silver Bream, 107, 244. They called a trophy. This was Twiza on Mayfly. 107, 244. All right. All right, here's a Bream. This is a regular Bream, right? I guess the only danger is what if there's not... Bream down there. Maybe we stay here till we catch this. Finish the Bream part of the trophy, the uh, quest. This almost has to be a Bream. I mean, I guess it could be an Eyed, but it feels like a Bream. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, he caught the trophy at like 10 p.m. And sometimes it is time sensitive on those things, it seems like. so. But let's just go see how it seems. So Mayfly, that's interesting, right? Maybe we can do two Mayfly, one cheese. See which does better. I mean, heck, we could have used Mayfly here. I didn't even think about it. Oh, there's the second Bream. Okay. We're going to go try this spot. 107, 244. It looks like it's up around the where the creek bends north of here. I hope Silver Bream are pretty decent through the night. So, like, let's see. Yeah, like right around here. Right around here, it looks like. All right. Let's go try this out. don't think there was any information about clip or anything, but let me make sure. We gotta go all the way up around the around the bend here. Yeah, it doesn't show clip or anything. I think it's going to be right here at this anchor, basically. All right, so we want Mayfly. 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 And, yeah, we'll start off with cheese on the third one, too. One oh seven one oh seven two forty four. I actually don't think we're gonna need our boat at the spot, you know. Wait, we can't get out here? There really are only certain places you can get out. Here we go. Wait, what? And it basically is right here. I don't know how you got it to say 107.244 though. You walk out on the log? No. All right, whatever. Okay. I think we're clipped on this one, right? Nope. 25. That should be good. I want to go about 26, maybe. Oh, that's stuck at 22. All right, we'll try that. Let's take the clip off. Let's try to get 26. There we go. 
All right, 26 clip. Assuming there isn't anything. I guess we need a little bleak spot, huh? That's some weird bleak bait. People catching bleak on the Reuben fly? Peas doe. Doe. That's some bizarre stuff. Saber fish with the Reuben fly. We could throw Reuben fly for a minute. We still haven't gotten a zope. Common nace. Huh. All right. Let's see if we get any bites at all here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we finished the XP quest. All right, let's check the club. Hopefully the spot will warm up real quick. Okay. Oh, we already had points? I don't get the point system. 210 out of 210. Jeff's at 1380. Jack's at 1276. Mask Suit Bone at 129. Huckleberry at 9. Bombi at 1700. Genjo at 673. Kyle Kidd at 210. We're at level 4. One more level and we're going to have new stuff down here, right? And right now we have 9 out of 13 members. We're not catching fish here. Alright, first one. This one's at 22 meters. Maybe it's a shorter clip than I think. <clears throat> That is a silver bream. All right. So, did I just get more XP towards the club? Oh, we did. So that's not like a maximum. That number is not a maximum. You just keep increasing it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this stuff. How does this stuff get in here? Are people actually putting it in there? Oh yeah, yeah. Bombi put stuff in there. Huckle Huckleberry put stuff in there. Jeff put stuff in there. I gave Jay Venter a mollusk piece because I was testing out how that would work. So people are putting stuff in and then I'm just like handing it out. Like, I don't know, it's weird. All right, this seems really bad right now. This seems really bad compared to where we just were. Let's try a shorter clip. You know, it's weird. Sometimes when a spot gives you a trophy, that doesn't mean it's like a really super active spot, I guess. If this is a silver bream, though, it's nice. I don't know. Maybe other stuff like likes mayfly, too. I really haven't used mayfly going for bream at Russia or silver bream. This is kind of a new one to me. We should check the record, see what the biggest silver bream are. It's probably on, like, uh, cheese and stuff, though, because I think that's what most people would use. That is a silver, and it is a nice one. A really nice one. Let's 
Silver Bream. Oh, Mayfly. Mayfly dough and cheese. So I sit corrected. Mayfly and dough. Okay. Oh, uh, we could try to catch a burbot. We could try to catch a burbot while it's late. Um. Let's try that. We only have one rod that can handle a burbot, right? I think we have to use a two for a frog. Let's make sure it's at least 26. Perfect. Let's see if there's a burbot out there. And the boat's not too far away if we hit something crazy, crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, that was quick. That was quick. I think it'll be a burbot, but I, I could be wrong. Or is there a catfish here? That looks like a burbot, doesn't it? All right, so the question is, that's 6.4 kilos. Pretty easy to get in. Oops. How big do they get? Not that big. Not that big, actually. Let's see if we can catch another one, because that really helped towards our daily. It's a lot of weight, you know? All right, a little better size silver bream, maybe. A little better. Not quite large, though. Nope. I do like catching Sterlet. Okay, so anything else? That I think the burbot are here. I think we found a burbot spot. I'm okay with catching some burbot. Again, it's helping our daily. That looks more like a catfish. Maybe we just got lucky on that first one. Hitting burbot. But if there's catfish and burbot there, again, it just helps our daily. As long as we can get them in. I think we'll turn that catfish into some fish offals too. I do want to finish off the bronze metal here, but I feel like I kind of want to go try to finish it at the other place first once it's morning. If we could get another silver bream order that just needs pieces of silver bream, we could crush it so fast. There we go. That'll be a bunch. 
Six of them. Oh, look at that. So we can, in 10 seconds, we can take it again. Oh, but we got to start over. That's all right. I'll do it. I'll totally do it. Oh, shoot. We should, um, we should accept it first. Because this is 100% going to be another silver bream, right? I mean, it's nice getting the silver from the silver bream, but it's not that much silver. I'd rather get the club XP. Level up our club some. Really trying to decide what I want to purchase next. Like we could go with, uh, I think we should go with us at least a second setup like this. You know? So that we can really go for carp a little bit more actively when we want to or other bottom feeder stuff. Um, It's tough because I also want to, I also want to get, I'll go ahead and get like a really nice carp set, which costs considerably more. We do have a decent amount of silver because all of the silver came back from the auctions and everything. So yeah, we probably ought to look at, look at prices before deciding. I'm telling you, like, I, you know, I was, I, I was happy to try, like, see if we could trophy the silver bream, but I don't know if it's the right time. And I feel like that other place was just more active. And I think there's burbot down there, too. But I guess this is worth it, because you never know. We might hit a lucky trophy silver as it gets to be morning. Once it's daytime, though, I kind of want to throw the, um, like, early, like, once it's 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m., kind of want to throw the fly out, or the uh, fly fishing out, see if we can't hit a couple more fish off this place real quick. But I think it's still a little too early for that. Oh, silver bream. Are we going to get there? I mean, it's 17 leech. Like, we're working on it anyway on the other quest, so you kind of might as well. And I'll take set, I'll take some leech. Wait, can we... Oh, we can totally put these towards the quest, so we can't do this when it's too small. But like these? That's a no-brainer. Do we do the big one? Let's wait and see how many we catch. Come on, burbot or catfish. If, if, if we're not going to catch much more as it's getting a little later, then we'll take that rod up and get out our, um, get out our fly fishing. But really getting another setup like this, if we could have two, two carp rods out to try to finish off that, that uh, quest, like, that'd be pretty good. And I do like the way that looks. Like, I wouldn't mind having two or maybe even three setups just like that as sort of our low-level carping or, you know, uh, any bottom fishing that's bigger than basically bream size. We'd probably use those setups. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we are we are so close on these bream. It, it's picking up okay. I mean, it's been okay actually. All right, we'll give it to 4:15 a.m. If we haven't caught something by by then, we're switching off of the frogs. Might be past time where we can 
actively catch the burbot or catfish. I don't know. Man, these are some good silver bream. I think we just got more club quest. Alright, let's check it. Look at that. We're at 630 points. We're at 630. I love it. How long till we can take another one? Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen either. All right, that's cool. All right, 415. What are we going to switch to? Let's see. What else could we try to hit out here? We could try... I can't believe I haven't caught a perch here. We could try to hit a tench here. Put crawfish out? I actually kind of like that idea. Potato cubes, that's really weird. Okay, maybe we try potato cubes. All right, we'll wait till 415. Is this really gonna be the tinch spot though? I kind of doubt it, but who knows? We won't know till we try. Let's do it. All right, so we want size one hook. And where's my potato cubes? Potato cubes. And I think for this, I will put some. Some tinch crucian stuff on there. See what happens. We haven't had a silver bream in a minute, but it, it's okay. We can apply this towards the quest if we need to. Holy cow. Come on, Tinch. Come on, Tinch. Or Carp. We need both of them. Well, it's tiny, whatever it is. That's not a tinch. It was a bream though. Does that already have a fish on? No. Okay. All right, I'm picking one of these. I want to try fly fishing out here. Can't wait till we get a bigger, um, a bigger fly setup. Handle a little bit more weight. Look at that. Look at that. What did we catch here? Oh, is that a saber? Oh, it's an asp. Come on, Tinch. Come on, Tinch. No, it's a rud. Who knew all the things that were going to like potato cubes out here? I want to cast this again. I don't even remember. Uh, there might be another fly we should be using. Oh, I love it when there's a current with fly fishing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's another asp. All right, let's check out this. Oops. Let's check out this. 
All right, Tinch. Oblique on Reuben Fly Walking, which is what we're using. Saberfish, Reuben Fly Fly. Maybe we should switch to that. Reuben Fly Fly. I want to try to hit one of those sabers, knock it off the list maybe. And we need to find Tinch. This is a really small fish. But Tinch aren't always very big. That's a nice rud. Holy cow. Alright, we might get lucky and hit a tinch on this eventually. I don't know. Alright. That that's a real fish. That's like a real deal fish. It's not one of those micro asps. He's got a little weight to him. Oh, that's a that's a chub. That's a large chub. Right? Ah, uh, it's a regular chub. By the way, wait, let's check quest real quick. Chub. Yeah, that's a lot of chub though. We don't want to do that. Oh hey, maybe we're catching another catching another silver bream. Yeah. All right. All right. All the silver bream quests are done. Common nace and zope. So let's try a zero hook. We'll try bloodworm first. Let's see what happens. Come on, Tinch. Yeah, we could try Mayfly here, but the problem with Mayfly here is we're gonna just catch Silver Bream, right? With a zero hook. We're still catching zero, z Silver Bream here. Which kind of shows that ultimately this is a Silver Bream spot, even on potato cubes. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like we should switch spots, but again, maybe we shouldn't worry about, let's just finish the daily quest. We'll worry about, you know, moving spots and stuff another time. Oh, that's a rud. I'm thinking, um, take the clip off. I'm thinking let's just do a much shorter cast here. It's a little fella. Oh, that's a saber, right? The shape of it looks like it. Yes. Another fish off the list. Now, supposedly, perch, huh? Supposedly, um, well, that's really it. We don't really need to be, oh, bleak, yeah. We'll go for bleak with doe or something. Tiny hook, doe, I don't know. They usually like blood worms, but. Oh, the rud. The rud are killing me. What were we gonna try? Oh, doe with a zero hook. See if we can hit a weird bleak. Bleak are also 
Sometimes it feels like floats the way to go for bleak, right? I want to go much closer in. Oh, why not fly? Why not why not try to hit a fly? I'm really curious about this spot up here. I mean, that's gotta be where some of this stuff would be just maybe a little easier. There's no current. I bet there's carp up in that spot. That's where we'll go next time, I think. Oh, this could be something really small. Yeah. Hey, we got the perch though. used. Yeah, we just want to finish off the daily. All right. Uh, I think this is probably the easiest way to finish it off, right? Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. Is a fish already on it? Is that why it's not moving? It's literally not moving. The current is not affecting it. Does it only move when you hold it? It's like stuck. What's going on with that? All right, there we go. So good. So good. Looks like an asp to me.
my goodness. We just hit a tinch. We just hit a tinch. We are so close now. Nace, Zope, Carp, Bleak. That should do the daily. That should do it, right? Holy cow. Did I already have a nace? Oh yeah, I guess so. Holy cow. Yo. One for the records. Oh crap, we haven't finished our daily. Oh shoot, wrong rod. We go get the boat just to be safe. This has been a heck of a fun time fishing. Look at that thing darting down there. It actually doesn't look that big, but it is darting around. Finish the daily. Oh, you know what? Hold on before we do that. Let's check. We don't have 2.7 grams of silver bream, do we? see if there's anything we need to
We just got a critical hit on fish pieces. 188 silver. I'll take it. I don't even know what the daily is here. I don't even really care. We're doing one thing, one thing only. We're trying to catch that silver carp so we can get our bronze medal at the pond. At the check pond. All right. So we want... Here we go. Welcome to the doghouse, Nospa. All right. All right, so this is one we have. If we wanted to go 30, it's 4,600 and... Fifty six hundred. I'm not sure this. See, I just don't think that that's big a big enough jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a second setup just like, just like the one we. Oh. Oh, we actually have that on an eight. Wait. Eighteen, eighteen. Okay, I guess that's fine. I mean, this just gives us a little more room, but it's a lot more expensive. So we'll do that again. And then we need another carp line. Um. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Okay. Okay. So what we're looking for is the only fish that we don't have on this lake right now, which is a silver carp white. So let's try raspberry and strawberry. Uh, I think I need to buy raspberry. We should still have some strawberry. All right, raspberry. Do we have plenty of strawberry? Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is set up Let's make sure we've got everything we need. We don't have a signal. I think we used the 40 on this. We're going with silver grass carp. 18 carp hook. And this will be strawberry 
Why didn't this work? Why, why isn't that working? Is it really because we don't have a signal on it? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it's too heavy. 30 gram. All right, so there's that one. And then on this one, we want to go with raspberry. This stuff. Oh, it's way too heavy. There we go. There we go. Now. Here we go. This is where we want to be, right? Actually, let's go from under here. Let's catch one of these carp. Oh, we got to get our boat. I don't know what we're going to fish on the, with the third rod. We'll just mess around with it. I don't know. Maybe we'll, um, I don't know. We'll look at the list, see what we want to use. We definitely want to get the boat out there though. Cause these guys get big. These, these guys actually get really big. Now I'm hoping this is going to work. Hopefully this spot will work. Pretty sure this is where gamer dude Gamer dude from our community. Oh crap, we already got a fish on. If gamer dude is from our community, I'm just not sure if he is or not. How do I find out? I guess he'll let me know. Gamer dude, if you're from our community, let me know if you want in the club. I feel like Gamer Dude. Last time we were here, last video we made, I feel like Gamer Dude was talking about, you know, the videos and stuff. But I don't know. That doesn't mean he's like necessarily wanting to be in the club. All right. So Strawberry's got us a uh, golden carp. I like it. All right. First of all, what is the quest? Perch. Okay. You know, we could probably catch perch over here. Actually. Let's see what perch bite on here. Bloodworm, bait fish. Uh, that's interesting to go for them. On, I, I think they're usually pretty good with um, bloodworms, right? Let's see how. Let's see how much they like blood bloodworms. Might as well do the perch income as well. What else could we do to go for him? I mean, bait fish if we had to. We could also just cast lures until we found one that they liked. Maybe. You hear those frogs? This is the spot to get a frog. If you don't have frog yet over here, kind of anywhere from here on down to the left. Oh, is that a tench? No, that's a crucian. Just throw out, um, just throw out, you know, fly on float, just like right out here in front of us. All right. Yeah, we're almost at an hour. If this doesn't happen pretty soon, we'll have to save it for next time, but hopefully we'll get it pretty soon. This is also the spot that I caught the tench in. I caught a couple fish after we stopped recording last time, but this is also where I caught the tench. 
Oh, come on, be a tiny little silver white carp. Come on. See how slow raspberry is compared to strawberry? But raspberry on that, uh, with that technoplankton stuff, that might have a better chance of hitting it. I don't know. This is one tiny carp. What size hook do we have on? Two? Two feels right for this place. Gamer dude is nice either way. But, you know, we only have so many spots, so if he's not wanting to be in, I'm not going to like try to talk him into it or anything. You gotta believe Percher over here, you know what I mean? Just seems like they would be. They don't sell any of those fancy lures here, do they? I think this is a really good lure. Like if you're if you're trying to figure out, okay, what lure do I want to save up, you know, tournament tokens for? To, uh, it's, I think this whitefish lure is really good. You just want to have a good. Um, oh man, these cost tournament tokens too, huh? You just want to have a good setup so you don't, you know, so you don't have too high of a chance of losing it. Uh, I think these are pretty good lures. Those are really good for trolling. I've used those to troll a good bit. That one's nice and cheap. Oh, this is a good one. These are good as well. It's like the poor man's version of the the white fish. They do have some pretty good lures here, actually. Let's see if we have a fish on. I figured we'd be able to hear it from over there, but maybe we just don't have a fish on. Oh, we do. Raspberry. Here we go. Oh, it's small. It could be that we also cast it too close, and that why it's, and that's why it took so long to get a bite over here. That is a baby golden, isn't it? We're going to cast it a little further out. Oh. Gamer just had another silver carp white, and that's the perfect size. 5.2 kilo, just yank it in. Uh, we're not hitting the perch over here, are we? I feel like so many different types of lures would probably catch perch though. 5240. Is that like, how do you get to 5240? Oh, is he in the boat? Why do I feel like my coordinates are always a little messed up?
So he is f fishing over here somewhere though. May not be exactly where I'm standing, but very close. So I think I feel like if we keep fishing here, we will eventually hit one of them. I just hope it's sooner rather than later. And I know yesterday Gamer was using strawberry and he hit one of those silver white carps on strawberry, so. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. So we have what, 7,000? I mean, that's one thing we could do. I hate to like reset our progress, but you do start thinking about, especially as you get into higher level places, at some point you got to bite the bullet and just spend a ton of silver to get a fish, a fish net that will hold everything. So like this one is 5,500. We could afford it right now, 100 pieces and up to 75 kilos. I mean, even that's not enough. Wait, oh shoot, it actually says it right there. The one we have is 40 kilos. I mean, that's a pretty big upgrade. Man, those things are expensive, aren't they? But at some point you got to do it. All right, here we go. All three rods going off. Come on. One of these two carp, you know what you need to be. What I like is that the carp over here seem to be pretty small. <laughs> Although it does sound like my middle line might be getting pulled out a little bit, but not too aggressively. Eh. You know, on the other side of the lake, I felt like we were catching bigger stuff. But for this purpose, I don't mind them not being huge because we're just trying to see as many carp as we can to try to find the silver. I think it's going to be worth it to get in the boat on this one, actually. Let's just cut down our time a little bit. This is a decent sized carp actually, isn't it? Maybe this will be a silver. I mean, they do get big. Not that we're gonna hit like a huge one necessarily, but they can get really big. Is he stuck in all that grass stuff? Are we gonna be able to pull him out of there? Nah, he's on the other side, okay, good. We are seeing an unusually large percentage of Goldens over here, which as far as XP and Silver gain, that's pretty nice. This gets pretty inefficient when you're catching this size carp on this size equipment.
just poke your head up for a minute and let me net you. Oh, he's just pulling me down. This is a nice carp, I think. I do kind of like how close, speaking of the fish market, gamer, I do kind of like how close we are to the fish market from this spot. Are we going to get this fish in? This equipment is just a little undersized for carp, isn't it? I mean, at France, it'd be miserable. This would just be like the story of your life on this size equipment. Oh, it's a mirror. It's not worth all this. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, totally thought we had him there. Oh, he keeps diving down. Oh, I got him. How big was he? 12.906. Uh, that's got to be our largest one yet, right? I don't think I've had a larger one since we reset our account. Oh man, even here, they get huge. Right? I didn't know they got this big here. Imagine with this size gear, hitting a 30 kilo carp here. All right, let's pull this in, this perch, hopefully. Not a perch. Hmm. We almost need to go empty our, I just don't think this is a very big carp, so we'll, we'll pull this one in before we go empty our net, but we need to go empty our net. This is very small. What is it though? Could it be? Could it be? Nope. All right, let's hustle. Hustle, hustle. Hundred seventy more silver. So I don't I don't regret us getting a second carp so I mean a second feeder set up that size. It's not ideal for carp, but it works in a pinch and there'll be lots of other fish that we can catch on it. I don't think over the course of time and it's a lot cheap I mean it's I mean honestly these are it's pretty cheap in the big scheme of things, right? Like it might even be worth getting a third one and just having three setups that are the same. You know, we can use it in this kind of situation, but there'll be other, lots of other situations. We'll just have that option, you know? It's another mirror, isn't it? Come on. 
Big money. Big money. I would love to finish this bronze medal. Ooh, pretty koi. Such a pretty koi. Shout out to you, Nospa. Grats on passing your test. We're catching everything but perch. What are they called? What do we also call catch catfish on? Um, crayfish tail. No problem, Nospa. Welcome to the club. have a feeling all right if this isn't it we might have to come back and do this tomorrow hey if anybody else has caught silver white carp here if you've got a favorite spot that's better than this one let me know i know that they've been coming in from this spot at least occasionally according to gamer so um I'm willing to keep trying it, but if somebody just happens to know a, a different spot, let me know. Just want to bronze this place. Well, we should get a look at it right here. See if I'm right. I have a feeling this is it, but I don't know why I think that. It's not like it's swimming very fast or far. Nah, this isn't it. This actually might just be a regular carp. I thought it was a mirror for a second, but 
Couldn't really see it clearly. It might just be a regular carp. I actually can't tell. He is swimming away from us, isn't it? Oh, he's dragging my rod down. Cut it out. He is pulling us around the pond. It's got to be exhausting, though. Get back over here. I wonder if I get close to him when he's up at the surface like that, if I could just net him. You know what? This might be what we're looking for. I, I'm honestly not sure. It is very long. It, it, this might be the fish, folks. We might have just bronzed this place if I can actually net him. Because he kind of looks like a grass carp, doesn't he? I mean, in the length and the shape of him. Come here. One more time. Oh, he's off. He keeps going just like... And I don't think it's that big, but it fights like crazy. That seems like a silver carp. Oh, he's right there. Oh, it's a carp. Why did he look such like a weird shape to me? <sighs> Golly. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we right now? Unbelievable. I don't know why I got my hopes up. I knew he was a carp, and then I started talking myself into it that he was something else. It'll be funny when we actually see what those what those silver white carp look like. The fact that I got it confused is going to be ridiculous. Look how he's pulling us. He's light, but he's still pulling us that direction. Did we finally get one perch? That is one thing I don't like about this game compared to the hunter gamer said. I think what he's talking about is being able to uh, manipulate time, which you know, I I can't I can't get on board with that. I mean, I know what you mean, and if you're used to the hunter, you're used to a certain way of thinking about these things. But no, thank you. That would really um, that would kind of. Make it pretty wacky, to be honest. All right, there we go. We're up to 7,600 silver. Uh, closing in on level 19. Are there places we haven't even been yet? Not that I need to go anywhere else because we've still got so much work to do on these first few places, but we are level 18. Okay, we haven't been to our house yet, the angler house. Um, we haven't been to Ukraine Nep Neper yet. Which, isn't that the place where you can catch the turtles? Like, I can't wait to go there, but I kind of want to get some other stuff done first, so we'll see. We're almost done with Russia on bronzing it. We've got, like, a few weird ones left. Obviously, here at the Czech Pond, we still need to get... Um, holy cow, we can go to France now? We just don't have the gear for it. I mean, that's silly. All right. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Tight lines. I'll see you next time.